Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Progressive Cooler. This is Saurabh. Uh, today we are going to talk about an interesting little uh, problem known as Lagu Cache implementation and this will help us understand a couple of very popular data structures. Uh, it is almost 7.30 in the morning and uh, I find that this is an ideal uh, time to record videos because the noise is pretty less uh, overall. Uh, having said that, let's understand what an Lagu Cache is. So as the name suggests, it is least recently used cache and basically what it says is that the least recently used item is removed from the cache. But let's understand it with an example. Uh, suppose you have a cache that can at max take four elements and we have already put four elements over there A, B, C and D and uh, the element A on the right hand side is the least recently used element and the element on the left hand side is the most recently used element in this case element d and our cache is uh, completely fill, filled up at this point of time so uh, there is no space for any new element so if a new element comes in we have to remove some element uh, from the cache and the decision to do that is based on the uh, least recently used property so let's see if an element uh, e is coming into the cache and at this point we will be removing the least recently used element which is the element a in this in this case and once that element is removed uh, we have an extra space and we insert the element e into the cache and now element e becomes the most recently used element whereas element b uh, becomes the least recently used after element a has been removed from the cache so this is basically as you can see a cache eviction policy where uh, the least recently used property is used to evict an element from the cache and uh, in a nutshell that's what an LRU cache is. Uh, it is basically a cache using the LRU eviction policy. So any cache that follows this property can be termed as an LRU eviction policy. With this understanding we will be looking at the implementation in the next section. All right, so let's look at uh, the implementation. Uh, but before we get into the specifics, uh, there are some implementation rules associated with LRU cache, which we have to consider. Uh, let's look at those rules one by one. First rule is insertion of a new element into our cache should be done in constant time complexity. And it makes sense because if we are trying to implement a cache, uh, we, wa we want fast insertions. The second uh, rule is, uh, Retrieval of an element or removal of an element from the cache should also be done in constant time complexity or order of one time complexity. The third rule is when we retrieve or get an item from the cache, it should become the most recently used item in the cache. And of course, uh, this operation should also be in constant time complexity because we want fast access to items in the cache. And these are some of the rules and of course even if this question is being asked in an interview setting, uh, these are some of the points that the panelist will be expecting uh, you to touch upon. Considering these three rules, uh, we need to now look at what kind of data structures can help us achieve this behavior. And one of the first data structures that comes to my mind is a doubly linked list. And a singly linked list, if you know, a normal linked list uh, where each node uh, has access or points to the next node in the list. That is a property of a singly linked list or normal linked list. Doubly linked list takes that behavior forward and what it says is that each node knows about the next node as well as the previous node uh, in the list. And this behavior, uh, this property allows us to have constant time insertions and deletions uh, from our doubly linked list, which is a very, very important behavior uh, for our LRU cache as we already saw in the rules. However, to access an element is still an issue uh, if we just use a plain doubly linked list uh, uh, because we need constant time uh, access. So we need another data structure to help us over here and that is a map data structure. And uh, map data structure is good because uh, it, it allows us to access an element based on its key in constant time. So we store the element, say we have uh, A, B, C, D and we have keys 1, 2, 3, 4 and we can access the element B using its key in constant time. And together these two data structures can help us uh, build an implementation of the LRU cache. Now at this point don't worry about the code too much because uh, the code is already available in the comment section below. It is implemented in JavaScript using doubly linked list and uh, JavaScript objects. But And, and these two uh, things are available in many other programming languages in different forms, uh, whether it is Java or Python or C Sharp, whatever uh, language you prefer. Uh, 
important thing here is to understand the concept and what kind of data structures can help us and how we are going to use those data structures. Uh, so we'll be looking at, uh, at an example uh, now. So let's uh, start with an empty cache uh, and it has only four spots as you can see uh, and we, we know the most recent item on the left hand side and the least recent is the right hand side and since it is doubly linked list we also know about the head and tail property of course and at this point the cache is empty so let's try to insert one element uh, one a here one is the key and a is the value uh, which we want to insert into our uh, cache and since our cache is currently empty so this item automatically becomes the most recent item and we also update the same item into our map data structure from where we can get constant time access to it now we try to insert second item 2b 2 is the key b is the value and since this is the latest item it will become the most recently used item and uh, takes up this, this position on the uh, left hand side and uh, item 1a uh, shifts uh, towards the right and also we update uh, 2b into our map data structure we get another insertion request 3c that becomes the most recent item other elements uh, shift uh, uh, towards the right and we also update the same uh, item into our map uh, data structure another insertion request 4d that becomes the most recent and now we have a least recent item also which is uh, element a since our cache is now full uh, we need to have a least recently used item so that we can take a decision which item to remove if a new item comes in and our map uh, data structure is also updated with these four elements right now uh, now let's see uh, if a consumer comes in and wants to access a particular item so we get a request to access the element with the key of 2 and since we are using a map data structure we get constant time access to it we can just query this map data structure and find uh, the element that we are looking for however this element is also present in our uh, cache or the doubly linked list uh, which we are using uh, to to emulate a cache but now since we have accessed this item this item should become the most recently used item so we have to remove it from this place its current place in the linked list and put it in the front like so and now this item comes into the first position other elements move towards the right uh, the least recently used item is still uh, the element a because we have not accessed it but we have a new most recently used item and d is no longer the most recently used item and since we are using a doubly linked list all of this has happened in constant time uh, because uh, the, a particular node knows about the next node as well as the previous node so this operation can be done in constant time which is very important for our LRU cache and we have also been able to give the consumer the data they are looking for. Uh, let's now consider a situation where a new uh, element is coming into our cache that is the element 5e key of 5 value of e and now our cache is full as you all know our cache is full so we have to remove some element from the cache which is going to be the least recent use element element 1a so we remove this element uh, we also have this element in the map but since we are removing it from the uh, doubly linked list or the cache we also should remove it from the uh, map data structure also and we do that uh, so that is gone and uh, the, the the new element 5e now becomes the most recent element and uh, 3c becomes the least recent element uh, because that is all all the elements have moved uh, towards the right uh, so this is how you insert elements into the cache and all of this is again happened into uh, in order of one time complexity or constant time complexity uh, let's look at the same thing again we have another request coming in um, uh, key of 6 a value of f and uh, again our cache is full uh, but we have a new least recent item which is element c so we remove that element we also uh, find that it is in the map object it should be there of course uh, we remove it from both the places and uh, now 6f becomes the most recent item in our cache and uh, we have we also have a new uh, least recent item which is element uh, 4d and of course even though uh, this element was inserted after uh, 2b but since we have accessed 2b once so 2b will uh, be the next element to become the least recent if a new new you know, element comes in so we are also preserving the order 
as well as uh, honoring the uh, property that any item which is accessed should uh, come up in the list basically it should become uh, it should not be the first item to be uh, evicted uh, from the from the list so all of these operations uh, are done in constant time because of the way we have implemented and uh, of course uh, the code of this implementation uh, logic is available uh, in the comment section below you can refer to it uh, you can uh, you can take it up uh, from there uh, but the important thing here to understand is how we are using a doubly linked list data structure and a map data structure uh, to implement an LRU cache so if you like this post or uh, this video uh, please uh, do uh, leave a note and uh, and also like the video as well as subscribe to my channel uh, we will be looking at various such problems in the coming days uh, which which will help us uh, know more about uh, various data structures so till then uh, have a nice day and goodbye everyone